Hey guys, so today Apple released another major update for the iPhone. 17.3 Beta 1 is now available for registered developers and public beta testers. You'll most likely see this available to you within the next 24 hours. And I want to talk about what's new with iOS 17.3 Developer Beta 1. Right on the heels of the release of 17.2 yesterday, we get a new beta. And this was to be expected, but this one brings one of the biggest changes in years to iCloud privacy passcodes and and security in regards to protection from stolen devices. This is one of the biggest changes that Apple has made in years and I wanted to share the details with you guys. Of course, we'll talk about everything else in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So iOS 17.3 developer beta one is approximately six and a half gigs of a download. And now, as I always say, this is simply overwriting the entire operating system. So you're not going to be losing six gigs from your iPhone. We're simply overwriting the OS here as we go into the about section. Take a look at the latest build number for iOS 17.3 beta 1. There it is, 21D5026. E. Now, of course, we got plenty of betas to go. This software will most likely not be available until early 2024. Now, I want to talk about additional software because Apple also updated the iPads with 17.3 beta 1 on the iPad, macOS 14.3 beta 1 for the Mac, of course, watchOS 10.3 beta 1 for the Apple Watch, and of course, tvOS 17.3 beta 1 is available for the Apple TV. Now, if you do have the HomePods running the betas, of course, HomePod OS 17.3 beta 1 is available for for the home pods now before we get to some of the big news here i want to talk about a feature that apple has just brought back with 17.3 in this regards to apple music collaborative playlist so with ios 17.2 we are expecting apple to release collaborative playlist the feature was pushed and it is back with ios 17.3 developer beta 1 so if we go into a playlist here you see that we have the collaborative playlist button right there it is so if i click into the button i get the option to start a collaborative playlist so i'm happy to report that 17.3 brings back the collaborative playlist. Now let's talk about one of the biggest leap forward in my opinion when it comes to anti-theft on the iPhone and that is stolen device protection. This feature, it is currently in beta, but it is available in beta one for iOS 17.3. And I wanted to explain everything in regards to this feature because it is super important. So stolen device protection, one of the biggest leap forward in anti-theft technology on the iPhone. This one's currently still in testing, but this new feature adds an additional layer of security and the unlikely event that someone steals your phone and also knows your passcode, the same passcode you use to unlock your phone. This also works, of course, for someone of trust that may know your passcode and wants to change your Apple ID password. Remember last year from the Wall Street Journal, we saw the report where you can actually go into settings, go into iCloud settings, and if you steal someone's phone and you know their passcode, you can go into signing and security and create a new passcode without having to authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID. Well, stolen device will protect you from this. So if someone sees your passcode in public and they steal your phone, they can't really change your phone's passcode unless Face ID or Touch ID authenticate happens. Now, this feature also protects your devices from things like viewing passwords or passkeys stored in iCloud, applying for a new Apple card, even turning off lost mode on your iPhone, or trying to erase all content and settings and even payment methods that may be saved to Safari. All this data is now protected with stolen device protection with Face ID and or Touch ID. Now, in order to enable this feature with iOS 17.3, you want to go into Face ID and passcodes right here and then you want to enter your passcode. Once you enter your passcode, you can scroll down and there it is, stolen device protection. Of course, I've already enabled this feature and hopefully this will put an end to those who are looking to seek other passcodes from users and try to steal their information or their digital life. This is a direct protection against this. And as you can see right here, Apple says to access safe passwords, face ID will be required just to make sure it is you. Changing sensitive settings like your Apple ID password is protected by a security security delay. Those delays will not apply if your iPhone is at home or at a place of work of trust. So yeah, stolen device protection, definitely an awesome feature. I'll continue testing the software to provide with you guys additional information. But iOS 17.3 developer beta one is now officially here. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.